On Friday nights, we like to talk about the great work being done by the Red Sox Foundation, joined by the executive director of the Red Sox Foundation, Becca Saulwasser, who tried to rename the show the Becca Saulwasser <laughs> Show. We will not forget that. And yet we bring her back against our better judgment. Welcome yeah. back, Becca. Thank you, Tom. You have guests this I week. I do have guests today. Yes, I have Jean with me from ASA, American Student Assistance, who's our great partner for the Red Sox Scholars Program, and Julio, who is a Red Sox scholar, yes. right? Um, and so great partners, again, of the program. 17th class of Red Sox scholars. Uh, Jean, why is it an important relationship for you? At ASA, we really believe that every student should have a path and, and they should have a future. And working with the Red Sox scholars allows students to be able to get to know themselves, know their options, and make really informed choices about their education and career goals. So working with the Red Sox scholars, we are absolutely able to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. And Julio, you are a shining example of what these scholarships mean. And what did it mean to you to be a Red Sox scholar? It means a lot to be a Red Sox scholar. It means that I can possibly be a role model for others as well who are in the same financial rut as I was and possibly be a motivation and uh, encouragement to be a success in the possible future for everyone. The annual introduction, uh, Becca, each year when they come out and they come out with, with talk and, and medical professionals. I think it's one of the best nights of the year. And now, at 17 years, you're watching almost a generation of scholars grow up. Yeah, I think what's beautiful about the night is it's not just an induction of the new class, as you said, but we bring back other scholars from uh, over the years. And so I think it's just a reflection of the investment that we as a foundation have put into the young people of Boston and can see really the impact over 17 years of a program. And it's just a beautiful night to recognize their accomplishments and, and really kind of praise them for the future that we know they're going to have. Gene, it's such a grand grassroots effort and you can see the benefits. How gratifying is that to be able to watch that come together? Um, it is absolutely amazing. One of the things we do is we support a scholars fellow uh, and she is a graduate actually of this program so she's working with young kids in the Boston area to be able to help them pursue their dreams just like Julio has. And Julio, where, what are you doing now? Uh, right now, I'm working for Biogen uh, up in Cambridge, uh, working at the community lab, hoping to inspire uh, under, underrepresented community students uh, to get taken entrance in biotechnology. Fantastic. You inspire us. Thanks for coming by, Gene. Thank you. Before we let you go, yes. big pot tonight in the Huge jackpot. Huge pot tonight. $50,000 pot, guaranteed pot for our 50-50 raffles. So fans, get online, redsox.com slash 50-50-5050. You will have your chance to win a guaranteed $50,000 pot. So you're walking away with $25,000. You gave away a ring, you gave away to all you do is <laughs> give do, and give. give and give. Best job ever, right here. That's, yeah. right. That's why you should give to the Red Sox Foundation. Thanks for coming by, everyone. Thank Appreciate you. it. We'll Thank take you. a break, come back with more good news. Tarp is coming off the field as we speak, and we're getting ready for baseball tonight at Fenway Park. Red Sox and Blue Jays coming up.